welcome to the adventure. So I'm doing this video because so many of you have requested it, especially you ladies. So it is on rest area safety. And at the end of the video, I am gonna do a play-by-play -play of me actually going through the motion and talking you through what I'm thinking while doing it. All right, so first off, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you can get all the notifications of the video. Go over to Facebook and Instagram, follow us over there so you can see what's happening in between the videos and be a little bit more involved in the Simple and Family. All right, guys, so rest area safety. First off, I wanna say try your best not to fear the world. I know it's really hard and it's easy to do because that's what the media and general world wants you to do. So human trafficking is a real thing and it is a really big problem in the United States, especially in the trucking industry. So I'm not trying to take it light about that. It's a very serious situation. If you ever happen to see that, I'm gonna leave the number on the screen. So if you happen to see something that you think could be human trafficking, don't be afraid to call. Also, guys, if you see a bad situation happen, Happening, unfolding in front of you don't be afraid to take action you could really save somebody's life all right so first off I'm gonna suggest take your cell phone with you make sure that the location device is turned on so that way they can locate you and also tuck that into interior part of your clothing so that way if a scuffle happens that the phone can still stay on your body so they can help track you and you can use it when it is safe to do so if you happen to be grabbed all right second thing take a flashlight along with you that way you can use it as a weapon or you can use it to spotlight where you're walking behind bushes other things like that another helpful tip that I'm gonna suggest and I'm gonna suggest you do a little bit more research on your own you can find it on YouTube I'm sure but think to yourself in what is self-defense I'm going to do if I am attacked because if you're thinking through it when it actually or if it actually ever happens it's gonna be first thought not second thought and it's gonna help gain valuable seconds in that attack. So what I will do personally is I'm gonna try to use the back of my head and hit the front of their face. They're not expecting it. It's probably gonna knock them off their feet or at least make them grab towards their face. And then I'm gonna be able to either get up if I fall and run or just run like heck and scream. So that's my first plan of action that I think of. Just watch the video and think through it. And out of the 12 years of trucking, eight years of solo, I have never personally been in a situation that I felt like my safety and my life was in danger and in jeopardy. All right guys. but. If you don't wanna use it, hey, I understand, that's okay. There has been times that I have not wanted to get out of the truck. It's been a really shady situation. So what do I do? I grab the pee pee jug. It's a laundry jug. Check out that video right there to find out what to do when there's no potty because sometimes you might not even make it to a rest area or like right now with the coronavirus, they might be closed and you can't use them anyways. All right, guys? So keep watching, watch the play-by-play -play and what I do in the video, all right? All right, as we roll into the rest area, I'm gonna check every vehicle for lights and movement in or around the vehicle. Then I'm going to find the spot that offers the most direct path to the building. So this spot ends up being great. So I'm gonna scan the parking lot and surrounding areas before I even get out of the truck. I'm also gonna exit out of the passenger side. So this black car over here does have the window down and somebody's sleeping in there. So just one quick scan, looking as far as behind the building as possible, bushes, things like that. As soon as I get out, I'm gonna check behind me to see if there's anybody possibly coming up behind me that could be suspicious. And I'm gonna look behind the building, behind the bushes again, and just keep my ears really listening for a sound or a movement and then also scanning. So before I go into this closed area that's tighter, I'm gonna do one last scan, check behind me, make sure there's no suspicious person sneaking up behind me. There never has been, by the way. Never once has I have experienced that. Okay, so I'm gonna look for a family bathroom. Unfortunately, there's not one at this rest area. Two women's, two men's. When I come back out, I'm gonna look behind me again real fast and I'm gonna scan over to my right so I can see if there's anybody walking that would be coming up behind me. And then check to my left, behind the bushes, around the corner of the building, look for a vending machine area. Once again, walking back out, you're just gonna keep scanning and listening. Now don't do it so much that you look like a paranoid psycho, okay? So uh, just walk with confidence, walk with your head up and just walk like you know what you're doing, you got, you're got you gonna handle your own, okay? And then just hop back on the passenger side. Okay, so I'm gonna make two videos to follow up kind of with this exact same thought process and that is going to be fueling at truck stops, truck stop safety because you are more likely to be approached at truck stops than you are at rest areas. And then also, safety for walking your pet mostly your dog at nighttime or anytime really so that way you can make sure you're being mindful and safe while doing that as well all right guys so stay safe and enjoy the adventure bye